In the past, I've talked about SSH a little bit, and I showed you in the past how to uh, share the encrypted keys so that you can remotely log in without having to type your password each time, um, which is a lot more secure than what I'm about to show you. I don't really recommend doing what I'm about to show you, um, but in a pinch, if you need to do a real quick script that automates a login and you don't have, for some reason, you can't share the key, this is how you can write a script to automatically pass your password to the SSH server. So let's get started. I'll show you. I'll just log in as normal on a machine. So I'll SSH. Uh, Tux is the username on the machine and then the address of the machine. And then at this point, we'll say, do I want to, uh, you know, accept the key, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Now it's asking for me the password. I'm going to type in the password. And once I do so, I can hit enter. And there you are. I am logged into the remote machine. Now I can exit out of that. I'll clear the screen there. So how do you pass the password if you're using a script? There's an application called SSH Pass. It's usually not installed by default uh, from what I've seen on most distributions, but should be in your repositories. And you just use SSH Pass dash P, and then you put uh, the password. So in this case, MetalX1000, which is not normally my password. Uh, so that's the password for the server I'm about to log on to. Now I just do SSH like I normally do over on this end here. Once again, put the username there and the address to the machine. And you'll see this time, boom, boom, I logged in without it asking me for the password because SSH pass passed this password to it. Obvious reasons that you shouldn't really be in the habit of doing this is one, you're displaying your password uh, in broad daylight, you know, and especially if you're putting in a script, you know, it's going to be in plain text. You never really want to store your password in plain text. You always want it encrypted. But like I said, just in case for some reason you need to do this, I thought I'd show you SSH pass. Um, do want to show you if I open up another terminal window here? Um, I can do PSUX to see running process in the background. And actually, let me stretch this out some to make sure it displays properly. I'll hit enter. And right here, you can see that at least now it does. If there's another user logged onto your machine doing that, they can't see your password. I, from what I've read, it seems that so, at, there were some points in the past that it would display your password there while it's running. Uh, they have taken care of that and filled it in with Z's. Um, so that's SSH Pass. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, like I said, try it out, play with it, but I wouldn't recommend using it on a regular basis. It's not very secure. So uh, have a great day and visit bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this.